Welcome back to the Navy Sports Magazine. We're presented by the Navy Federal Credit Union. Time to shine the light on men's soccer with Nate Stewart. And, you know, Nate, for your team, there's a pretty clear line of delineation this year. When you guys play a responsible game, the result's usually pretty good. And when you guys really lose focus a little bit, it tends to get away from you a little bit. Do you guys have you guys sensed that? And uh, as this season has gone along, been able to figure out, you know, hey, it's got to be a little bit better coming up uh, this Friday night. Yeah, definitely. We um, we uh, in games that we're really focused and we we prepare well for the results always call um and in our favor favor. But a lot of times when you know we got a lot of things going on, a lot of games to um look forward to, um. It's real challenging to uh, prepare for certain teams, but, you know, Army is always circled on our calendar, so we prepared pretty well for this game. To have the opportunity to play this game at the home of the Philadelphia Union, uh, is there a little extra piece of excitement uh, for you there? Definitely. I mean, when at the academy, you get a ball boy. Uh, you have to be a ball boy once or twice um, every season. So I've been on the field. I've been there. It's just going to be really awesome to go back and be able to play on the field that I've watched so many games on. How much soccer and, and certainly playing around other players that are that good, that play at a place like that, how much of your soccer career got a boost from from being a part of that academy? I think even just my life in general has had a boost from it. Um, the soccer aspect, but just the life aspect of having to bring your best every single day, no matter what's going on, having to come prepared, having to perform your best. Um I definitely learned a lot about myself during my time at the academy and how to perform high under pressure every day. And I think it's just in general, with how much it's progressed my soccer career, it's just helped my life in general so much. The fact that playing on a team with so much experience, how do you feel you've been able to integrate yourself uh, into this group uh, and be a part of it here? The guys in the team, especially the firsties and the second class, have so much experience at such high levels, and especially here in the college game. Um, it's been awesome. It's been amazing to be able to learn from them. You know, I'm sure I annoy them a lot because I ask them a lot of questions, especially <laughs> uh, David Jackson and Christian Coelho. Um, but, no, they've just been the best. They, they're so experienced. They're so professional everything they do. Um, they're always there to help out the plebes, and it's just they're great guys to be around. They're just such good players with so much experience. I was just saying, Nate, there's no such thing as a bad question. That way they can't say you didn't ask them. Uh, a guy like David Jackson, let's talk about him for a minute. Playing with a guy like him, uh, a guy that seems to be, especially when things are going well for you, he seems to be in the middle of everything, whether it's finishing or certainly creating uh, for others. What's it been like to be able to learn from a guy like that? Yeah, he's just unbelievable in the field. He's so smart and so professional with everything he does. He um a lot of times has to put the team on his back to uh help us get push us through some games and he's just been incredible this whole season, the past seasons, like this whole time here at Navy. And not only is he a good player and not only does he uh, drag us through some games, he's a great leader as well. You know, he's always helping out other guys in the team. Um, he might not be the most vocal, but he does a lot of things silently, like leads by example. And he's just been phenomenal for this program for the past four years. Dad uh, ran track at Army, a little friendly rivalry this week. Definitely. He, he's a big, he's a Navy soccer fan. I'll say that. He's not much of <laughs> a fan of else but um yeah that, it's been amazing to be able to like share experiences even though it's navy and army it's just been great to be able to like talk to him and my grandfather about stuff like this when it comes to army and navy and um it's just been great because he always makes jokes but i know deep down he's a navy soccer fan so hopefully he's rooting for navy on friday is it hard not to get too excited before friday this early in the week knowing uh, how much this game means for both sides? Um, I think everyone's. I've been. I've been excited the second that I knew I was coming here. So I'm just so amped up to play this game and just the atmosphere involved. Everyone watching, like how it always is, and it's just. I think it's always the highlight of everyone's season, whether you're at Army or at Navy. Nate, appreciate the time. Best of luck to you and your teammates up in Chester on Friday night. Thanks for the time today. 